Hey everyone, Theme Park DNA here. Today I'm going to be unboxing some blades that I got from the Custom Saber Shop. Um, as you can tell, this box is not looking so hot. I'm not real happy with how this box arrived, but I know that that's not necessarily the fault of the Custom Saber Shop. This package arrived UPS ground and I think the fault there lies fully on them. Let's open it up from the other side. I wanted to order some day blades. Um, as you also probably know, I've been ordering a lot from the Custom Saber Shop lately and so I wanted to try out some of their day blades. I got on there and between uh, having to choose only what was in stock and what I thought might be interesting. This is basically what I came up with. So as I unboxed, if I go ahead and open these up, I'll briefly talk about what I ordered. So I've got three blades here and they're all 32 inches because I ordered it that way. They come 40 inches standard and you can order in different sizes. They'll cut it to length and they charge you 50 cents. I thought that was reasonable to get what you want. All right, so as I said earlier, I basically just ordered these based on what I thought was interesting that they had in stock. So I've got three blades here, Photon Green, Enhanced Amber, and Enhanced Blue. So these are all kind of non-standard colors that I wanted to give a try. I also ordered double wrap blade film and it looks like they put it inside of a piece of the photon green blade material to keep it from getting torn up in shipping, which is great. It's another 32 piece. It's another 32 inch piece. Indeed it is, exactly 32 inches. All right, so I went ahead and Pop the blade ends to see how they fit. They all fit well. This is not a threaded end, as you can tell. It's glue on tip. So I've got my handy dandy um, super glue from Harbor Freight. One of my favorite stores right now. The tips that I ordered, again, I had to contend with what they had in stock. The enhanced amber, I've got a bullet tip for the photon green. I also have a photon tip. By the way, they, as is common with the custom saber shop blades, there's a mirror in the tip to try to reflect light back. And in the enhanced blue, they had a parabolic tip in stock, just to show that in contrast. I really like this parabolic tip. It's just not pointy enough and just rounded enough. It's just about perfect. All right, got my tips glued on. Little PSA, be careful with the glue, don't be like me. I got a little bit of glue on one of my fingers. I got it on the blade. 
Put a little goo going on it. It got most of it. Put some nice little shine on it and uh, that pleasant citrus aroma. So I've got <laughs> I've got one of my manicores here with some MHS parts from the custom saber shop. Turned down the lights a little bit. And I just want to see what it looks like. So this particular manicore is in Adigan Silver. So it should look really good in the blue. This is without any of the blade film. It really doesn't look bad. And that mirror makes a big difference. It's still a little bit of a dead spot here in the middle, but it's fairly bright here at the bottom and bright here at the tip again, but I can see we're gonna need some blade film. So I am just using this plastic piece of hollow plastic that they had they shipped with the blades to keep them from getting damaged. Well, after much difficulty, I have the blade film in this enhanced blue blade. And when I turn it on, looking at the camera, I think it helps a good bit. With the naked eye, it kind of looks like the film is just reflecting the white back. It's. Um, difficult to see the blue but I see that the light blue in the camera really more so than when with the naked eye can see a bit of a seam right there I do wish it would be a little bit more blue. I know that it's not supposed to be a dark blue. It's supposed to be a light blue. This might be a little too light. Maybe with a blue blade. All right, for the sake of time, I grabbed my third Frankensaver, cross hilt Frankensaver, and I just took off the emitter and put on the Manicore emitter and um, Speaking of which, I don't know about you, but man, a manicure would make an awesome cross hilt. I digress. Though so we take a look at it, and you know, I still think it still looks guardian blue. I don't know that this enhanced blue, because it was a light blue, made it look any lighter. It does enhance the brightness. I think this blade looks a good bit brighter. Yeah. Yeah, I like this enhanced blue blade better. The blue here looks a little more dull, at least with the naked eye. If I put in the enhanced blue with 
the um, the blade film from the custom saber shop and it still is a bit less bright here in the middle as the guardian blue tends to be but because of the mirror it does get brighter here towards the tip and I do think it helps here in the end so let's continue all right next up I've got the photon green in on this Adigan white manicore saver wow brightness wise that's fine but I still like the blade film you see every little bit of trash and lint inside of there you'd have to clean the inside of the blade to avoid that but I do like how much light kind of spills out of the blade here at the end that being said, we put the blade film in here and it should hold some of that in the blade and make the blade itself brighter. So let's give that a try. The first time I tried my hand at this blade film and it was a bit of a disaster on this enhanced blue. I've, uh, <laughs> I'm going to edit most of that out because that took far too long. Let's hope if... I figured out an easier way to do it. All right, the first time I measured this blade film, I did the exact length of the blade, but what I didn't account for was is that the blade tip actually goes about an eighth of an inch into the blade itself, which is going to stop the end of our blade film. So, I think the first thing we should do is cut that accordingly. So I'm using the blade to hold down this film because it's been wrapped up. It is kind of a pain to deal with. So I'm going to use this to weight it down. I'm going to use, go ahead and kind of line up exactly where I want it. Just cut here at the end with a pair of scissors. So I use the blade to measure, and I'm just going to use a pair of scissors. Cut that off, and well, I'll need a bit of tape. Alright, so I'm going to use the blade to kind of roll up the film. I'm going to need to get it a little tighter because naturally the inner diameter of the blade has got is smaller than the outside diameter so the trouble that I had was keeping this together while I was working with it so I'm just going to use a little bit of tape tape that together and I'm going to leave myself A little bit of a tail on the tape to make it easier to take off later. Alright. Do the same thing on the other end. Very difficult to deal with if you don't do this. As I learned the hard way. And, uh, this video is long enough where I might include it as an outtake. It probably would be pretty humorous to see me struggling this blade film for the first time. Let's hope that once is enough to learn from my lesson, learn from my mistakes. There we go. All right. Let's 
slide this out and now it should stay together without me having to struggle right, so I'm just going to tighten this just a little bit to get it smaller so it'll feed into here easily as I feed this in I'm just going to rotate this to get it to go in a little easier as I get to the end though I'm going to need to take this tape off because as I rotate this this tape is wanting to come these ends are supposed to want to come loose to straighten that out and continue to push in. Wow, that actually worked out that time just about perfect. All right, well, let's see how that, that photon green on. Turn this big light off. And let's see how that did. Oh yeah. I definitely think the blade film makes a little bit of a difference. Plus it kind of gives an inner core and outer core. Some people say it. No. I've heard some people say that they think it makes it look like it scrolls a little bit. But, um, well, if it does, not this one. So that looks really good. It's not your typical green. It's not that consular green or Yoda green. Kind of a brighter green. I really like it. I think it's unique and different. Still a little dimmer right here. I probably could have used more blade film. I got the double wrap, which I think means it's wide enough to wrap inside here twice. And there is a triple wrap. It was a good bit more expensive, and I was trying to save money having bought three of these. But I can see where that extra money goes. That extra wrap, I think, would make this look a little bit brighter. But all in all, I gotta say it's a win. Let's try that amber. I was about to jump into the blade film, but let's see what this enhanced amber looks like with no blade film. Well, it looks orange. It's dull. It's not as bright as fire orange, but it's not that different of a shade, really. Let's see. The blade film should lighten it up a little bit. Well, there's a little bit of an orange tint to the outside of the, but for the most part, with the, the blade film in, it looks white in the middle, like it has a, a white or silver core with just a hint of orange on the outside, get more of an amber look on the end with the tip being more or less orange. So I think my favorite of these is going to be this photon green. Very nice. Is um, give you the ability that if you have a, a saber and egg and silver, the color disc from what everyone says does not work very well. I'm going to get some just to compare them, but. Day blades are definitely a way to go to change the color of a blade, of a white blade. And I really like that photon green. That's my favorite of the three by far.
Let me know in the comments below what you think about these day blades from the Custom Saber Shop. Which of these is your favorite? What's your favorite day blade? If you haven't subscribed, we would appreciate it if you did. If you like this content, let us know with a thumbs up. That's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching.